Good morning. This is Mrs. Riham Shazli, Future Leaders School. Happy to meet you again with a new lesson. What is our lesson today? It's about the stative verbs, non-continuous verbs. Stative verbs are the opposite of action verbs. Action verbs describe actions we take or things that happen. But stative verbs describe states. They refer to the way the things appear or the state of being. Stative verbs are never, never used in continuous forms like present continuous, past continuous, present perfect continuous, and so. They are divided into five types. Type 1, verbs showing emotions like love, dislike, hate, prefer, adore, want, wish, desire, etc. For example, I wish to stay thin. My brother adores detective stories. I desire only to live in peace. Type 2, verbs that show possession having things, have, own, possess, contain, include, belong, etc. For example, she has a cat. He owns a luxurious car. The price includes the service tax. Type 3, verbs of perception. No, believe, understand, realize, remember, forget, notice, recognize, think, seem, expect, etc. For example, she can understand the lesson now. This book seems to be interesting. The following type, type 4, verbs that show senses. See, hear, smell, taste, feel, sound, look. For example, the butterfly looks beautiful. I can smell something burning. Lemon tastes sour. The last type. Some other verbs. You have to study them by heart. Feed, sorry, fit, need, matter, coast, mean, owe. Require way. For example, our body requires vitamins. She needs a pen. Her own pen is broken. I owe you 10 pounds. He weighs 40 kilos. Some verbs can be state or can be action. According to the meaning, you have to make difference between them. Let's start. Verb 1. Think. If it comes with the meaning believe, it's a state. If it comes with the meaning to try to decide, to try to make a decision, it's an action. For example, any indexon, think bowling is fun. Think here means they believe, they express their opinion. It's a state. They are thinking how to tell the parents that they want to go out with their friends later. Here they are tr trying to make decision, to make a decision. They are making up their mind. They are thinking it's an action verb. Verb taste. When you describe a particular flavor, it's a, it's a state verb. When you test the taste, when you try to find out the taste of something, it's an action. For example, this chocolate rose tastes fabulous. I describe here the particular flavor, its state. She is tasting chocolate. She's trying to find out about the taste. She is testing the taste. It's an action verb here. The verb see. When it comes with the meaning, meet, it's an action. When it gives the meaning of using eyes, it's a state. For example, I can see a doctor. 
Turn the light off so I can see the x-ray. Here I use my eyes. It's a state verb here. I'm meeting my patient tomorrow. They are seeing their relatives tonight. Here it gives the meaning meet. It's an action verb here. The verb look. This butterfly looks beautiful. I describe here the appearance. She is looking at the butterfly. She is directing her eyes to look at something. It's an action verb here. In example 1, I describe the appearance, a state verb. In example 2, I direct my eye to look at something. It's an action verb. The verb feel. The baby's hair feels like silk. Here I describe here the feeling. It's a state verb. But the doctor is feeling the patient's forehead. The doctor is touching here the patient's head to find out about something. It's an action verb here. In example one, I describe the feeling. I describe the feeling of my touch to the babies here. It's a state. But in number two, feel here means touch to find out about something. It's a, an action verb. The verb smell. These roses smell beautiful. I describe the scent of flowers here. It's a state verb. She is smelling the rose. She is sniffing the rose. It's an action verb. Have. She has a cat. It's a state verb. It means this cat belongs to her. She owns a cat. It's a state verb. Example two, the cat is having a swim. It means here it is swimming. It's an action verb. The verb weigh. In example one, this rabbit weighs a lot. I describe the weight here. It's a state. But in example two, the owner is weighing her rabbit. The owner is doing something to find out the weight of her rabbit. It's an action verb here. The verb fit. The dress fits here perfectly. It's a state verb here. I describe the appearance. But they are fitting a new dress on here. They are doing something on here to make the dress fit her body. It's an action verb here. The last verb appear. He appears to be irritated. It's a state here because I describe the appearance. Cameron Diaz is appearing in Green Hornet soon. It means it, she will be shown on TV soon. It's an action verb here. In example one, I describe the appearance of the irritated man. But in example two, the verb appear means that you will be able to see something on TV. Thank you for your time. I hope you will get benefit. Meet you again. Goodbye.